Hello, Mom. Hello. <laughs> In George's garden. Yeah. That's the greenhouse. Mm. And there they can grow warm things like oranges. Oh, and limes, it looks like, or oranges. There was a stake in one of them that said what it was. Pomegranates were back there. Yeah. That would do not say. There looks to be like melon over here. Yeah. <laughs> Property of General Jim. Washington. Is that a grape? Oh, pomelo. What the hell is a pomelo? One of these. Yeah, well, that's a pomelo. <laughs> Property of George Washington. Yep. Do not steal. <laughs> see how heavy it is. Feel it. It's really heavy. Yeah, God, it is. It's like bigger than a grapefruit. Yeah, oh yeah. What is it? See? Yeah, I have to look up what a pomelo is. It, it, see it in my hand? Yep. Poor branches like that. <laughs> More topiary. And other lovely flowers. Key lime, I was right. Ha ha! Oh. They are key limes. Mm. I was right. You're very smart. Shut up. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but probably should. But at least won't be for sticking feet in my fountain. Shut up. Shut up, please. GoPro, take photo. Eh, I don't have it on the boat. It's because it's good. Use it to fan your thoughts. No. It says the marks of southern culture in early America have long been marked by hospitality, hoop skirts, and because of the hot summers, the ubiquitous fan. The ladies' fan was much more than a tool to stay cool for colonial women, including Martha Washington, her daughters and granddaughters. The fan was a mean of means of silent communication. With a beautiful fan in hand, a simple twist of the wrist could send a coded message across a parlor or a dining room. The gentle fluttering of the fans was intended to encourage or discourage suitors or to conceal a woman's own furtive glances. For example, drawing the fan across the cheek meant, I love you. Hmm? Twirling the fan in the right hand meant, I love another. Hmm? To pr press the ha half-opened fan to the left lips meant, you may kiss me, hmm? but to fan very slowly meant, I am married. Often these flirtatious games were played out on the fan itself. Some of Martha Washington's fans had ornately printed papers of allegoric scenes stretched between intricately carved ivory supports, such as the fan which is displayed in the Mount Vernon collection. Most of Mrs. Washington's fans were brought, bought in London, although the Washington's factor Robert Carey, uh, through the Washington's factor Robert Carey, and some were supplied by Lardner and Co. in London. Although some fans were made in England, others are noted as French. Many ivory fans were probably of Chinese origin that had been exported to London. After the Revolution, Martha Washington's fans were secured in America, usually in Philadelphia. Language of the fan. Yes. Letting the fan rest on the right cheek. No. 